Hey, I hope you're having a great day. And I am going to say I, I'm a little nervous about this that I'm going to be doing. Um, I have never done a promotional or uh, how to videos live. I've always recorded them. So, um, so come along this journey and I hope you enjoy it. But I, I just, this whole project has made me very nostalgic. It reminded me of summers when I was a kid on the farm. And you're going to hear me talk a lot about this. Um, so it, it's taken me a while to come on here and, and, and talk about it today. So if I'm not clear and smooth, just bear with me. Because um, it's brought up a lot of memories, a lot of sweet sweet memories, a lot of work and everything. Hey, Susan, thanks for joining me. And uh, I'm talking about uh, making dill pickles today. Um, <laughs> it's like dill pickles. Why does that make you sad? It just brings back a lot of childhood memories. Um, my growing up on the farm, we had a really big garden and we, we, we canned and we froze and preserved a lot of food so that we had have, we grew the big garden so that we could have more food, you know, to take us through, through the year. And we also had a large family and, um, and stuff. So, so this year with COVID, I did a lot of experimentation with plants and things and I grew dill and so now the dill is ready to be harvested, and I'm like going, oh, I guess I really should do something with it. So it, it just brought back the memories of my mom being in the kitchen and, um, and how many hours and days that she would spend in there uh, making pickles and preserves and different things like that. And then my one sister was talking about um, refrigerator dill pickles. So I decided that that's what I would make. And um, I feel like I'm babbling all over the place. But anyways, it was nostalgic of remembering my mom. And uh, this COVID has, and I'm just going to preface this, this COVID has really done a lot of things for, for people in their mind. Um, nobody has been able to go see my mom in the nursing home since early March and it's taken effect um, right now she's not um, responsive when we video chat my sister finally was able to go see her the other day I didn't mean to go here but even an in-person visit distanced she was just not engaged. And so it just makes you sad. And then you remember this woman who was take charge and just did all this stuff and she taught us so much. So anyway, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> But anyway, I grew dill this, this spring and I had to do something with it. And so I've talked to my sister and I had a lot to learn. And so I'm bringing you on this learning experience with me. Um, I have never grown dill before. I did not know much, but because to be honest, I don't like dill pickles. They're not my thing. I do like some dill, but I don't like dill pickles. Um, so <laughs> anyway... I, um, I had, I was reading these recipes and they go, oh, well, just take a head of dill and put it in the jar or take a sprig of dill. Um, and I'm going, what's a, what's the head? Is that the flower? Is that the, is that the pretty leaves that are on the dill plant? Um, you know, what do I, what do I use? And so yesterday I got that instruction from her of, you know, what to use in the dill. And then I found out, do I can, do I have to can in hot process 
these pickles or can I make them another way? And she had suggested an easy way is to just make them in the refrigerator. So I went out and then it's, I went out and bought some ingredients. And after reading many recipes, um, I, uh, it's like, you know, so what kind of cider do I use and stuff? So here are a few things. I'm going to switch my camera around. Oops. Sorry about that. So I'm switching my camera around and these are a few of the ingredients I got. They call so many recipes and so confusing. Um, some call for garlic, some call for red cider vinegar, some call for white vinegar. The, the salt is a, um, is the norm for every recipe because you gotta, you gotta use that for a brine. Um, so I finally did find a recipe online for the refrigerator pickles because my sister couldn't find hers. So I found this online that I'm going to follow. Um, it's garlic dill, but you know, before I did that, I go on, well, let's, you know, this is a nostalgic thing. So I started looking through cookbooks. Who doesn't have old cookbooks? Maybe you don't, but I still have some of the old cookbooks that, um, either my mom or mother-in-law or just different things, um, had to use to show them how to do, um, recipes. So anyway, I've decided I'm going to use this refrigerator dill and I'm going to use, I'm going to use this jar and I'm just going to make one batch and just fill everything in there and go from there. And, um, so I'm going to be doing this in parts because I don't have my cucumbers ready. I have to cook the cider and some sugar and water together. And then that has to cool. Nobody wants to sit through all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, stop the video and just do it in part. So when I come back, I'm going to turn the camera back around. So when I come back, <clears throat> I will be making the brine and that has to cook. Then that has to cool. And then we'll, we'll start in with the pickling process. So I hope I, um, you'll come back and join me as I make my journey making the dill pickles and sorry for the tears, but they're just, they're just tears of not sadness, just, um, just remembering. So anyway, have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.